Welcome to Lego Tales, and today is another Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review. Now you've noticed that I've been doing most or a lot of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle reviews lately, and that is why I'm trying to collect all the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and this is comes with Donatello. So this set is ages 6 to 12, 7, 9, 1, 0, 1 is the set number. The name is Shredder's Dragon Bike. It comes with them 198 pieces, 3 minifigures, and cost $24.99. Now, this set, overpriced a lot. Uh, I think this set should have been a $20 set, because I know a lot of more sets that we've gotten better deals on. 198 pieces there, not a very good price for $24.99. That kind of upsets me, but now I notice kind of why it is that price. We do get the kind of exclusive Shredder minifigure. I believe we can only get them in one other set, which is the Shredder's Lair Invasion or something, or Shredder's Lair Rescue. And uh, um, I guess Tello is kind of exclusive, and that is why this set is a little bit overpriced. But besides that, it looks like a good set. The bike looks completely awesome. I like that skateboard kind of. And then it comes with three cool minifigures. There's the back printing on the box. The side, the front, the side, the other side, the other side. And that is the set. So without further ado, let's go build it now. Okay, we've built the dragon bike and the motorized skateboard and the minifigs, so let's just look at the set. Now, once again, uh, not a very good price there, $25 after tax, and we didn't get that many pieces for it. But first, here's the instruction manual. It's the uh, normal $20 size instruction manual that we get with every $20 set. The uh, thing in the back is we have a list of all the 2013 wave of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle sets. We have the Shell Razor Street Chase, the Baxter Robot Rampage, the Turtle Lair Attack, the Dragon Bike, of course, and the Krang Lab Escape, and the Shell Razor Street Chase. I will. I have reviews for this one, and I will soon be reviewing the Shell Razor Street Chase to collect my last turtle. Right back here is a little comic book that you get. And then right back there is it can show you some features to the set. Not very much, just um look myself, not that much, but one thing that really upsets me about this set, which upset me about um the Karai Bike Escape is they gave, they wasted time giving us so many unnecessary extra pieces, and the price was super expensive. I mean, they could have given us another minifigure, or they could have given us uh, a better skateboard, or something else for Leonardo, or maybe just something in the city, maybe just a little thing with sewer, but... That's the that's my problem with this set. It's so expensive, and they waste this time giving us extra pieces that we don't even need. And and some of these pieces aren't even exclusive. I mean, we do get Shredder's claws, which I guess are a one extra one of those, which I guess are kind of exclusive. But then we get a katana. Besides that, the rest of it isn't really exclusive at all. So that's one of my problems with that. So those are the extra pieces we get. And uh, right here we get a new exclusive printed on piece, and this is a map, a little road map to the sewer. Now this is kind of cool right there, you can kind of see the printing on there. It has like all the map, and then it has an X right down there, and 
the bottom. And I guess that's where the treasure is or wherever Shredder's trying to go. That's his point. So it does come with a nice exclusive map piece. Next up, let's look at the minifigures. So first, we'll start off with the uh, foot soldier. And this is the uh, same foot soldier we get with the um, Karai Bike Escape. It's a nice minifigure. Had no really complaints about this minifigure. Nice torso printing, back printing, and head printing. It comes with a silver katana. And he does have a he does have printing on the back of the head, but no double-sided face. Of course, they don't do that with bald headed minifigures, but um, besides that, it's a very nice minifigure. We do get oh, another one of these minifigures in the Cry Bike Escape set, so it's not really exclusive, but none of the foot soldiers really are, but there is the foot soldier. Next minifigure up is Donatello. Now, Donatello is a very cool minifigure, and it's pretty much one of the reasons why, I, the main reason I got this set was for Donatello. I wanted to collect Donatello really bad, and plus, this set came with Shredder, so even over even over the expensive price, I decided to get the set. I really like that turtle shell and the headband color. It's nice purple. And with the camera, it does look like it's blue, but it's actually purple. The camera makes it look blue, but it's purple. That's the one pro another problem I have with the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They gave us a purple, which is super close to the color blue. So, it's kind of hard telling them apart. I think maybe Donatello should have had a yellow headband. I don't know. It's just my opinion. Let me show you real quick Leonardo. Here is Leonardo. So, you can kind of, you now know that their headbands are not the same color at all. Just, this might look more of a darkish blue when it's actually a purple. But, this is Leonardo and this is Donatello right here. So, now you know the difference. He does come with a bow staff, and he has very nice torso printing. I absolutely love the printing for the turtles. Nice color, and then he has the new head mold that are made exclusively just for the turtles. And then this turtle shell, which is also made exclusively just for the turtles. It's very cool. It has two bands across the back. There's the back of the shell. There's the back printing on the torso. And there is... Donatello. Okay, next minifigure up, Shredder. Now, I think Shredder might what is might probably what might make this set go, because the only other set you can get him in, I believe, is the uh, let's see, what's it called, the Shredder Layer um, Escape or something like that. I think that's the name of the set. But that's the only other set you can get him in, and it does come with some foot soldier and a couple turtles but that's the only other set you can get shredder in besides this one so I guess maybe that's one reason they made this set a little more expensive because people will want to be getting this set for the shredder but he has a new cape piece which is longer at the top but then comes down to the bottom it's not a regular cape piece that you would normally get with regular minifigures I really, really love that helmet piece. That helmet piece is just super awesome. He does have uh, a different kind of shape. Looks like Two Face from Batman, uh, but it's not really the purple color that Two Face, or it actually the. Um, you know, it's been a while since I watched Batman. I forgot what color his face turned into red or whatever. It's not the exact way Two Face looks, but it's kind of makes me reminds me of Two Face. So that head printing really reminds me of Two-Face from Batman. No head printing on this, back head printing on this minifigure, sadly, but surely. Um, I really like this shoulder armor piece right back here, and that torso printing is very cool. He does not have back printing, no back printing on this minifigure, so no reason to take off the cape and that armor piece to show you it. But there is Shredder. Next, we're going to move up to our smaller build. Uh, this is Donatello's motorized skateboard. Now, when I first saw this, I was like, uh, okay, what is this? Um, what am I going to use this for? But then I read sort of the description. I was like, oh, that's a skateboard? Okay, so it doesn't necessarily really look like a skateboard, but 
There's a stud right there for Donatello to skate on. Mm, and chase after Shredder and his bike. So, nothing really much going on here. I mean, you do have like some lever action right here. You can not really do that much besides that. You do have a hook right here for Donatello's bow staff. So, when you put Donatello on there to ride away and chase Shredder, you have to have a place to put his uh, bow staff. So, you can put his bow staff right on there on the back on this hook that you get. That's pretty much it for the motorized skateboard. Next up is Shredder's Dragon Bike. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is one of the best bikes that we have gotten in LEGO history. That bike is just super cool. It's debatable, but this bike is just awesome. And I think it's probably one of the best bikes we have gotten in LEGO. But, I mean, after all, there is like the LEGO movie set the bike chase set and that is a pretty awesome motorcycle but we do get some very nice motorcycles i think kai's blade cycle from ninjago was pretty awesome but this motorcycle definitely gets up in the top 10 list of motorcycles this is a very very cool motorcycle it's the dragon motorcycle and right there you can sort of see the dragon in there you can see it has translucent orange right for the eyes right in there you can kind of see it and it does have a flame exhaust in the back and then the only stickers that you get in the set are right here on this little pole it comes off right here okay there we go it comes on this pole right here some Chinese symbols and there's stickers on both sides of the flaps and then down here is like they're all hooked to this something that would be like a pogo stick or not necessarily a pogo stick but what you would use in a night night uh, fighting thing so what is that like that they'd ride on the horses the knights would have it anyway I don't remember what they're called right now but you do get one of those it's hooked on there very good and it adds some nice look and adds a nice look to the bike you get a little bit of move action right here this is a flimsy plastic thing right here for the top of the bike. And you do get some movable tail action for the bike. And then right here you do have flip missiles that can move up when you're not ready to shoot them. So you can just move them up and down if, when you're ready to shoot them or not. And when you're ready to shoot them, you just they're just regular shoot flip missiles. So. And I found the best way to shoot them is by having your um, finger up here and this up here and then actually no that's not the right way um, the best way to do it is have your pointer finger right here your thumb right here and alright never mind I can't remember how to shoot flick missiles today there we go that's the best way to shoot them I think unless you want to actually try to flick them so You know, that's problems with movable flick missile turrets. They can't be flicked very easily. But anyway, right up here you have a movable weapon for the dragon's head. And it does roll pretty good. It's a nice roll. Oops. <laughs> well, it rolls definitely good. It knocked over the camera. But anyway, it looks very cool for sure. But then, of course, you can't have the bike unless there's a place to fit Shredder in the bike. So it's not Shredder's bike unless there's a place for Shredder to stand or sit. And that is this area right here. You kind of do have to lift up the um, claws a little bit. But that's no problem. We can just stick Shredder, stick Shredder right in there. And he can drive his bike to chase after the turtles. And then, of course, he has a little foot soldier to help him. You know, there's not really a place to put the foot soldier to come, so he has to kind of walk to go get the turtles. So anyway, there is the dragon, uh, Shredder's dragon bike. Now, what are my thoughts on this set? The bike is totally awesome. The minifigures are awesome, but it's way overpriced. They gave us too many extra pieces. They could have given us another minifigure, maybe another build, maybe just a build in the city, maybe like a little, uh, 
coffee stand or a popcorn stand or a hot dog stand or something. Maybe just even if a stop sign. Even if it was just a stop sign, that'd be cool. So that's my problems with the set. But besides that, I think this set is okay. And on my rating list, just because of the minifigures in the bike, the skateboard isn't really that cool, if you ask me. But um, I'm going to give it a 6.5. And... Normally, I'd give it higher, but just that price scared me away almost. And plus, we get too many extra pieces. They could have given us a build, another build, I think. But anyway, there was Dragon Shredder's Dragon Bike. Tell me what you think of this set in the comment section below. And I will see you in the next Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle review or whenever my next video comes out. I'll see you later.